It's been over 60 years since nine African-American students integrated Little Rock Central High School. The historical moment caught the nation's attention back in 1957, but many people don't know that across the river, six other students tried to enroll in class at North Little Rock High School. Our Rochelle Turner sat down with one of the men responsible for changing a moment in history, Rochelle. Donna Kevin, good evening to you. That's exactly right. Brave, heroic, courageous, fearless, and bold is how I would describe these six men. This is the North Little Rock Six, and at the time, they were all teenagers back in the 1950s. They grew up at a time where there was a school for blacks and there was a school for whites. Now, they did try to integrate North Little Rock High School, but they never went inside of the building. Many people don't know what the North Little Rock Six had to go through, but I sat down with one of the men who's making sure their story is told. Wow. Meet Richard Lindsay. The 79-year-old lives a few blocks away from North Little Rock High School. That's me right there. <laughs> but things were a lot different 60-plus years ago. Richard was 17 years old in 1957. The summer was coming, and I was looking forward to being a senior. He was set to finish out the school year at Scipio A. Jones High School, the black school in North Little Rock, but his aunt told him something else. You are going to school in the morning with about five or six other people, and you're going to try something. The school day would turn into a historic moment for Richard Lindsay, Frank Henderson, Eugene Hall, William Henderson, Gerald Parsons, and Harold Smith. We were going to walk up to that school, and we were going to integrate North Rock High School this particular day. September 9, 1957, a day Lindsay vividly remembers. It was scary for the first time, it was scary. They gave us these directions, the ministers who was with us, and they told us, don't look down, keep your head up, walk straight ahead. Old newspapers from 1957 showed the six teens and four AME ministers as they made their way to North Little Rock High School, surrounded by chaos and people yelling racial slurs. And I was on the edge, and there was a, a hand on my neck. And I guess at first I might have been scared, but it just laid up there and it said, I just want to see what I felt like. This is where that person touched my neck and wanted to know what I felt like. They made it through the crowd and walked up these steps. Now everybody gathered. Where they were approached by the superintendent. And they were nursing him. He came back and told us that they said we could not enter the school today because of what had happened in Little Rock last week. Just days before, on September 4, 1957, nine black students tried to enroll at the all-white Little Rock Central High School. All eyes were on the natural state as the governor ordered the National Guard to keep the students out. Five days later, these six students attempted to go to school across the river. They were denied entry into North Little Rock High School. It was over for the next 50 years as far as North Little Rock concerned because Central took over and North Little Rock never existed. It never came up. And nobody, there was not, not that much written about it or spoken about it. I guess the newspaper did their daily thing as far as I'm concerned, but we were considered not important for 50 years. So they made their way back down these steps. And they saying, go home, don't come back, and all this stuff. But we kept walking. Richard finished his senior year at Scipio A. Jones High School. He and his friends became the unsung heroes of North Little Rock. Wow. There was nothing heroic about what we did. We did what we were told because we were kids, and that's what you did in 1957. Richard still visits the old North Little Rock High School, making his way to the top, one step at a time. Wow. And while many don't know the story of the North Little Rock Six, and we kept on walking. It was only a day in 1957, but a moment in history that continues to live on. 
Now, the North Little Rock 6 never enrolled in classes at North Little Rock High School, but later that month, the Little Rock 9 entered Central High School for the first time on September 25th, 1957. In 1963, five black students again tried to sign up for classes in North Little Rock, but the school board rejected the application. The school board then adopted a plan to desegregate all grades, and on September 6, 1966, 20 black students finally entered North Little Rock High School. Mm -hmm. What a story. My goodness. Mm -hmm. So did the North Little Rock 6, did they ever receive any recognition? Because you're right, a lot of people don't know about them specifically. They did. Lindsay told me that former President, President Bill Clinton actually honored them, and he also has a plaque from state legislators. It's really, really nice that mm -hmm. pretty much just recognizes them for their honorary and their bravery. And if you ever visit Military Heights Park in North Little Rock, you're going to see this sign, and it explains what they did, why they did it. It's, it's just, it's very, very emotional, very historical. And Lindsey goes on to say that he and the five other students, they graduated from high school, Scipio A. Jones High School, went on to college. Now, there are only three of the six men that are still living right now. One of them lives in Los Angeles, one lives in Dayton, Ohio, and of course, Lindsey lives here in North Little Rock. So he's, he's still, he looks good for 79. He still does good, he walks yeah. all the time, mm -hmm. but you know, it's, it's great to be able to tell his story. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for sharing Thank you, it with Michelle. us.